what excites you about the future in general? I, I, um, as I said, I'm um, into artificial intelligence in the last time a lot. And I think um, it really would will have a lot of impact in the future. And what I'm really interested about is um, uh, intelligent and also autonomous machines. So I, I would think that we will going to see them more and more in the future. I saw uh, a couple of times videos, I think they were in the USA of, of uh, delivering robots that were going through the site over the sidewalk. Are you familiar with them? Uh, I haven't seen any robots on my sidewalks quite yet, but I do hear that we're like, yeah, I've I seen, hear I've about seen. those things. I don't know where they are, though. I don't know where they're happening. I've seen quite a lot of videos uh, of them uh, in the past month, but I, I think it was in the USA, most of them. But I don't know where exactly. Also, um, Wymo, I think it's pretty interesting. They're in, uh, since 2017 or so, they're driving autonomous cars in um, in a few cities in, in the USA. So, for example, Phoenix, you can uh, order a Wymo taxi and it comes without a driver and then drives mm. you to another place. That's that's what I think really is uh, really interesting and how you can, how can have new ways of interacting with machines. For example, I was in uh, in Berlin uh, um, a few weeks back or last week, last week, and um, and that they have uh, um, a museum which was called the Futurium or Futurium, which was all about the future. And there was a section about AI, and then you you, you could have some cameras and you could interact with the screen just by moving your hands. So I think was it's really uh, when you do it kind of magical because you're so used to that you have to use a keyboard or use your fingers, or your thumbs on mm. the smartphone or, or a mouse. But if you can just manipulate digital assets in any kind of way, just by moving your hands or your body, I think it's really interesting. And um, for this and also for autonomous machines, you really need a strong computer vision system, which is the branch of AI that deals with uh, perception for uh, uh, for digital systems and that's that's uh, that's also what i was uh, um, was do know uh, most about when it comes to ai i don't know really uh, i know the basics but i'm not uh, an expert in any way i would say <laughs> because it's a, it's also a so um, so fast developing field um, but yes intelligent and autonomous um, machines and uh, that, that can understand the world around us through uh, vision or, or also text. That's what I'm really excited about. But also it seems uh, like, oh, go continue. But also this in combination with, uh, for example, um, applications in, um, in sustainability and also fighting climate change. For example, um, there are a lot of um, interesting things with, um, with getting crops from the plants. Through through robots with who use computer vision, for example, in in uh, the Netherlands, they they have some some of them already, and uh, I think we will see more and more of them um, of these applications in more fields. And also the other the other thing the, the third thing maybe is uh, the new space age kind of that um, there are a lot of companies going into going into space nowadays, and which is quite different than in the last century where the space was mainly a thing about countries and now uh, companies are are building up um, to go into yeah space. it's an interesting point yeah